OK, so here's part three of the S950, which is now living back in its rack along with all the effects units. So as before, the keyboard here is controlling the Atari uh, via MIDI. And the sounds you're hearing are the MIDI notes that are being passed by the computer to the sampler. So there's a chain going on here. Now, just to save time, I've programmed a drum rhythm into the Atari. It's quite a painstaking process if, you, if you're not really used to the Atari. I'm, I'm only just getting used to it. So I've got here the drum rhythm, which I'll just give you a just play for you. Okay, so there's something. There's a, a drum rhythm that we can, we can always tinker with it afterwards as well because it's MIDI information, it's easy to change. So in addition to the Atari, the keyboard and the sampler, I've got a multi-track digital recorder here, which is basically a digital version of what would have been around when these things were uh, new. So we would have had analog recorder then. Uh, so just for convenience, I'm going to use a digital recorder, but the process is the same. This is the master controller and it outputs something called MIDI timecode, which is read by the computer. So the computer actually has two things feeding it, which is why we have things called MIDI merge boxes. So one input is this and the other input is the data that's sent from the recorder. So when I press play now on the recorder, the computer will find where the recorder is and then uh, what's called sync with it or lock in with it. So at the moment, I have a slight, a little bit of blank space on the, f on the beginning of the computer to allow the multi-track recorder and the computer to sync up. So it's very important you do that and you, they, everything needs to settle down before recording can begin. So I'm going to play the bass part in now. Now the mixing desk over here contains all the, the channels, inputs, everything that you need to conduct a recording session um, with uh, things like the bass is plugged into a channel via the DI box. Now, my recorder down here, as you can see, it has 16 tracks across here. I'm going to make track one ready to record so that when I play my bass, you can see the level coming up on the, the multi-track there. So I'm going to get started. I'm just going to play something along with the drums here. So I'm going to wait for my count in, which is a hi-hat sample. Okay, so the multi-track recorder has now rendered my bass onto its hard drive. You need to do that, never switch anything off when the hard drive light is, is on. Now I made a slight mistake there in that I'd set the computer to what's called cycle. So it went between um, a whole drum rhythm, but because the whole thing is in time, I will get away with that. So now when I play the bass guitar back, Okay, now I'm gonna play some guitar on top of that. So I've got a guitar amp mic'd up um, in my studio here. I've got a, a Roland JC120, uh, which is an amp of the 70s and 80s, which I'm going to record uh, in stereo because it's got a chorus sound. <laughs> helps if you tune your guitar up as well. So I'm going to record that onto two channels of my multi-track recorder. Now at the moment the mics are coming in on these two channels here. There we go. So I'm now going to feed them to inputs three and four of my multi-track machine. And there you can see on the level there, like that. 
Now, because I'm using a microphone in front of my uh, my guitar amps, I need to use headphones to plug to put the guitar on. So. Once again, you'll hear the sampler being controlled by the Atari, and this time I'm going to put some guitar down with that bass. Okay, here we go. Let's make sure my bass is a bit higher that I can hear everything coming in. Here we go. There we go. So there's a bit of guitar. Now, all the audio is now recorded on this, but all the MIDI information is recorded on that. And you're just dividing jobs up between dedicated pieces of kit. That might be one reason why they're all still working is because they do one job. They're designed to do one thing and they don't get uh, bogged down in anything else like making the tea.